Welcome to Election Night 2024. We are live here in the new CBS News Philadelphia virtual reality election studio. The big story here locally is the state of Pennsylvania. People are here tonight, not only from all around the Delaware Valley and around the country, but we also met several people who are here from around the world. We are on your corner and in many neighborhoods. We're actually looking at kind of democracy in progress here. There are at least 800 people still lined up to cast their ballot. The energy here in Cherry Hill has been electric all night long. The crowd appears to be content, albeit a little anxious as the hours wear on. Joining us live is Christine Sorensen from our sister station KDKA, Doug Williams from our sister station WCBS. CBS News confirmed team is and has been monitoring and betting claims about voting all day long. Throughout the night, we will be bringing you analysis and perspective. We're keeping an eye on some of those numbers as they come in. We begin with a look at our U.S. map that shows which states went to Trump and which went for Vice President Kamala Harris. Breaking right now, Donald Trump will return to the White House. CBS News projecting Trump as the winner in the race for the U.S. presidency. Burlington County residents are demanding changes in the next election after voters at multiple polling sites reported long lines with some waiting up to some five hours. Never dreamed I would wait five hours to vote for a president. We were there at three o'clock and we finished, casted my vote at 8.42. Well, a woman went out with her, her little daughter and bought cases of water and trays of cookies and brownies and went along the line giving them out to people, which was so sweet. And it was a beautiful experience in one way, but in the other way, it was very frustrating. Uncovering the heart behind the headline. A North Philadelphia voter is really showing us all what it means to make history today. This day mean a lot to me. The 101-year-old prepared to cast her ballot for the first black female presidential nominee. 